All right, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby. And my name is Mike. And we're doing this for the second time today because in true Kia Hyundai channel live video fashion, it's truly live and our sound didn't work. So this time we're trying without microphones. Um, if we're a bit too quiet, please let us know. Just say speak louder or if we're too loud, tell us to be quiet a little bit. And then of course, we're gonna do a full walk around of the 2023 Hyundai Venue Preferred. So we already did a full intro that had absolutely no sound. I'm just trying to remember what we said um, and get back into the groove of things. Of course, we go live every single weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, sometimes a little bit later, like today if we have difficulties. And we do full walk arounds of both Kia and Hyundai vehicles. So everyone's saying they can hear us, that's good. Okay. This is, this is a good start. Yes, we don't have mics for, yes. for all of the people that are part of this channel on a regular basis. We all know I don't have a problem with my voice and how loud I could get. But I can be quiet. <laughs> Let us know if we need to be a little louder. And it's my job to make sure that I follow Gabby in a way in which we're going to pick up the sounds and yeah. it's going to be clear for you guys, but please let us know. Yes, for sure. Um, as always, we do these videos for three reasons. Number one, you may own a Kia or Hyundai vehicle. We want to be your number one source of all things Kia and Hyundai, whether it be walkarounds of the vehicles, um, just owner's tips and tricks. So if there's like how to get into your car, if your key fob's dead, just little things like that. We've done just about everything there is to do on Kia and Hyundai vehicles and we're constantly expanding our knowledge and learning more. Number two. Number two, if you, air, uh, oh my God, I did a tongue twister at the same thing, just like the last video. This what? is live, so who knows, deja vu. Yeah. If you're in the market for a vehicle, guys, and you haven't fully considered a Kia or a Hyundai, or you are considering one and you want more information, this is the channel to be. There isn't a, to watch. a vehicle to watch, <laughs> to watch, sorry, that whole thing threw me off. Um, whatever model, whatever make you're looking at, I guarantee you there's a video on it. Yes, absolutely, on our channel. On our channel, <laughs> this channel, yes, Kia Hyundai channel. For sure, and then number three, the third reason why we do these videos is that we're a real dealership, we're a real business, and me and Mike are real employees for this company. So I work at Brantford Kia, which we mainly sell Kia vehicles and used vehicles too, which is any make and model. And then we also have two Hyundai stores. So Mike works at Brantford Hyundai, which is about 10 minutes down the road. We also have Owen Sound Hyundai, which is on the outskirts of Ontario. Now, if you are looking for a new Kia or Hyundai vehicle, we can only sell within our province. But you can always watch our channel for information or if you just like to hang out with us every weekday at yeah. 2 p.m. <laughs> if you have any questions about the vehicle you're driving in a different country, it's either a Kia or a Hyundai, we're happy to help with that. We can try. <laughs> yeah, because there's some mod there's some, uh, uh, some big models that aren't, yeah, That exactly. we don't get, yeah. Exactly. Um, and then with that being said, if you do want to join us on our next live stream, it'll be tomorrow at 2 p.m. And then we'll start again next week on Monday all the way through Friday at 2 p.m. All you have to do is go to our channel right over here, so the Kia Hyundai channel. While you're here, if you're not already subscribed, please do. It'll make me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but truly, it's such a great way for to show your support, and we are really, really grateful. We just hit 90,000, and we're freaking out literally every single day. We can't believe it. Um, but you'll see under our home tab or our live tab, we have an upcoming video. All you have to do is click on it, and it'll load you into that video. You may have to watch an ad. Lululemon, okay. Okay, this yoga pant, there we go. <laughs> but you'll see on the right over here, or on the, yeah, the right. <laughs> My left, your right. Um, we have a live chat box, so that's where you guys can ask us questions. You can let us know if there's anything wrong with our live. Like, everyone let us know that there's no sound. We appreciate that, thank you. It only took us four minutes to realize, but... <laughs> I thought you said wrong with our lives. Yeah. I'm like, I've got my own list. For my <laughs> there's always something wrong with our lives, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yes, we really appreciate you guys being on here to show us that, you know, no sound. Yeah, I love these guys. <laughs> like the comments that come through, the support, I, I honestly do. This Truly, is... it's turned into a bit of a friendship. It feels like a live or like FaceTime chat with you guys, even though we can't see your faces, but just some of the comments you guys make, I, I laugh, I cry sometimes, I can't even focus on the car anymore. All right, but now that we're in, I'm just making sure it's on, we get into the vehicle and we'll go through a full walk around. Yes, so we got the 2023 Hyundai okay, Venue. Yes. So this trim level features great safety features and great comfort and technology features. Um, especially being a Canadian car, of course, you have things like AC, that's standard in all our cars. We also have heated seats and a heated steering wheel and traction mode. So that's gonna really help out when you do have snow or just any sort of unstable surface that you may be driving on because this vehicle is front wheel drive. Looking at the venue, it has a beautiful kind of boxy shape to it, but boxy in a good way. She is beautiful. This is a lovely blue color. I don't know if you guys can tell, but me and Mike both wore blue today because we just had to match the car. I haven't <laughs> did the shoes. I will turn on the lights to show you guys <laughs> just how beautiful it is with everything on. Perfect. I'm hoping the keys are in the car. 
Okay. Increase sound and volume. I'm just gonna increase my voice. So like we said, we're having technical difficulties with the mic. Um, a couple of things we didn't mention is we, in the first video that we had to stop was, was the key, I'm gonna just moonwalk back here to get the keys. Um, why are we shooting all these fuel efficient, um, you know, e economy conscious vehicles? Uh, it's just that time of year, right? So you have students coming home, you have people in the middle of moves and people are looking for fuel efficient vehicles at a great cost. The price point on this guys is 22,700, the, the MSRP, so 22,699. Uh, efficiency is great, 7.5 liter standard for highway and city mix. But of course, if you're a light foot driver like me, you can get that down further. Uh, but I'm telling you, this is the only vehicle that when I get into, I don't double think when I'm going to the gas pump. I don't double think. <laughs> I, don't oh, think I don't think at all when I say stuff like that. All right, so under the hood, we have a 1.6 liter four cylinder gasoline engine with an IVT transmission. So an IVT stands for intelligent variable transmission. And that's not to be confused with the CVT, which is a continuously variable transmission. This is not sluggish. It doesn't feel snappy like a rubber band. It is very, very smooth. It has pretty solid shift points. You can feel it as well too, so it doesn't feel like it's on a pulley system, although an IVT typically is. Um, and it's very, very fuel efficient. So that's the major reason why we have an IVT in this vehicle. The horsepower is 121 and the torque is 113. Sorry, I'm, I'm usually never this close to the- I'm camera. trying to get close, <laughs> yeah. The microphone situation. Yeah. <laughs> For our headlights, we have halogen headlights. They are very, very bright and they do emit heat. So again, in the winter, this is gonna slowly melt some snow and ice off your headlight unit, which means no scraping. Very nice. <laughs> um, I think the general style of the venue is also quite quite nice. Mike's like behind the camera telling me to talk louder. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> and then we also have our daytime running lights up there. For the wheels, I might actually yes, walk behind yes. the camera while I do this that so you guys can hear sense. me. 15 inch alloy wheels, pretty nice design. And then, do you know the name of this blue specifically or no? Not specifically, but I'll tell you in a second. Okay. <laughs> and then the body lines of the vehicle. Technical difficulties, but it's okay. Very nice car. Thank you, Streak 9. <laughs> We're trying. The very back has venue. Nicely printed just underneath the Hyundai emblem. RIP headphone users. Oh my God, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> And then just behind here, we have Teddy. <laughs> so <laughs> he's the reason why we are having tough technical difficulties. Just gonna toss him on the floor real quick. But you can see space-wise, there's a very good amount of space in the back of this compact crossover SUV, you could say. Um, one of the things that people really like about the venue is the fact that it has the price point of a sedan. So think Forte or Elantra but you have the space of a very, very small SUV, not very, very small, but a smaller SUV or a crossover. So very good headroom. It's not too high off the ground where you have to step into the vehicle. So this will make it very, very comfortable for, even for older customers as well. It's not just a student vehicle. All right. And then you can see we do have our cargo cover here that just unclips from these tabs there. If you do need a little bit extra height for your cargo space. Then I'll give Mike the camera again. And I am back and I figured out the name of the okay. color. <laughs> What's the name of the color? Intense blue. Oh, it is very intense. I'll give it that. <laughs> it's actually the color of a, a car I used to own. I won't say the, the brand <laughs> of it, but I love this color. Yeah, I love it, this it color. It's quite nice. Yeah. Um, under the floorboard here, we do have a real temporary spare tire. So a compact spare tire with, of course, all your tools needed to change it. This is great peace of mind because if you are using this for commuting and you have a blowout, you have something to throw on your mix. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, I don't think, honestly, I've assessed, guys, me and Teddy in the back is not going to work. Not <laughs> yeah, happen. he barely squeezes in there. Let me try, though. Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's okay, fine. We'll try. He's soft, you know. Another How does this work? I'm, gonna, I'm so, so it looks like I'm, I'm not choking him out. This is not gonna work. Oh my goodness. It's hard even for me. Okay, close it, let's see. Close it? I don't think it's gonna close, Mike. Oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> nope, see guys, that was the first trunk fail. 
This, yeah, this is the first vehicle to ever have a trunk fail. Ooh. Somebody clip this, oh my gosh. Stop. <laughs> I was pushing so hard. I'm just like, no, I gotta get them in there. No, no, that would have hurt me if you actually got it. Oh. I saw it bashing. <laughs> like, please don't. All right, there you okay, go. Okay, guys, first fail. First fail with, uh, with, with me put me and Teddy in the back, but uh, we chose the smallest car. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. There we go. We could put Teddy up there. Yes. We do have functional roof racks on this vehicle, and this comes in this trim level standard, so this is not an accessory. You can, of course, get crossbars on top of this and then carry whatever else for cargo you have. Whatever else for cargo, if that makes sense. Um, guys, tell me if my voice is loud enough if we're filming from this angle. I don't know how much closer I can get to the camera. I'm like chasing it. I'm getting a little shy. <laughs> Mike, did you touch on fuel efficiency? Yes, yes, yes but I'll reiterate, 7.5 combined city and highway. And again, MSRP is 22,700. Right. Um, before I hop in, I'll show you guys on our mirror right over there. We do have blind spot detection on this vehicle. So this means that that icon, it looks like two little cars will light up when there's a car in your blind spot, whether it be on the left or right side. Now, if there was a vehicle in my blind spot and I go to indicate a turn, like signal my turn, it will give me an audible warning not to change lanes. So, great safety feature. All right, I'm gonna quickly hop in, make sure the AC is off and the radio is off so there's no extra noise. So you guys have to focus on me right now. Tell me if I'm too loud. <laughs> on the door over here, we have an express up and down window for your driver with pinch protection. And then of course, powered windows for the rest of the windows in the vehicle. You also have power adjustable mirrors and they are heated. So again, that will melt some snow and ice that will build up on your mirrors in the winter. On the left side over here, we have our brightness adjustment as well as our traction control. So you can quickly turn it off right over there. Our light stock and then our beautiful air vents. I will say for the price point of this vehicle, it does have a very, very nice interior. And one of my favorite things is a Forte in a similar price point does not have push to start, but this vehicle does. So you have a remote starter built onto the key as well too, which means you can start your car from inside your house or inside your workplace from your key fob and get into your car without pressing anything except maybe the button on your door handle. So you don't actually have to physically touch your keys. You don't have to crank it, of course. It'll just turn on, it's very nice. That's actually one of the ways I never lose my keys because I get in or I know my keys aren't gone. So I'll get into my car and I'll start my car. If the engine starts, I know it's somewhere in the car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or if it's not, then I'm like, oh, I love my keys. Can it start buttons. if it's on the floor outside? Do you drop it by mistake? I've never tried that. I hope not. That would suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, now for the steering wheel itself, I'm going to quickly start off with this. Now because we don't have our microphones, this may not be as satisfying as it usually is, but... I left that for you. There we go. <laughs> making my day a little bit better <laughs> and for the steering wheel it is a leather wrapped wheel and it is heated so the heat will travel all throughout the wheel so it doesn't matter how you like to drive whether you like to you know nine and three or three and nine there's a proper way to drive i thought it was ten and two ten and, sure <laughs> time. okay right over here no matter how you like to drive your hands will be nice and toasty in the winter or in the summer if that's your thing on the very left side, we have our Bluetooth and media controls. So over here, we have our voice commands. If you have your phone connected either by Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or even Bluetooth Audio, it'll use your phone's voice command. So whether it be Siri or Google Assistant, we also have, oh, thanks Mike. <laughs> we have our volume controls here, which if I were to press it down, it'll quickly mute whatever it is I'm looking to. And then over here, we have our phone button. So this is gonna be to quickly answer a call or go to your phone's menu. This is a favorite button. So when you first get your vehicle, it's gonna be blank and empty. But when I press this, it'll take me to a menu on my main screen here. And from this list, I can choose whatever I want that button to do. So I think the thing that makes most sense to me is to be a reject or end call button. But you guys have all these different options to choose from. So once this vehicle is yours, you can truly make it yours. In the middle, you have your Hyundai logo and your horn. And then on the right, we have our cruise control. So that's gonna be to turn it on, to adjust your speed, and then to pause it or restart. Up here, we have our controls for our digital gauge cluster. And this vehicle has a beautiful gauge cluster. So we do have a little bit of a digital information for your speedometer and your tachometer. Now that is fixed, you can't change it, but in the center screen, you can see I can cycle between different menus. So your drive info, your user settings, your tire pressure monitoring, and your lane assist. <laughs> I think they like the ASMR. I'll leave a couple. Guys, <laughs> I get to peel this before it comes here. So yeah. I feel like 100 
I'll leave a couple more on next time. It, yeah, if Mike, uh, if you guys like the sound of this, this is actually less work for Mike. So. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I'll leave a couple more. Um, under our driver assistance panel, you can see some of the safety features that are included in this vehicle. You can adjust things like the warning volume if you find it's a bit too loud for you or maybe it's a bit too quiet. You can also turn on or off. Uh, lead vehicle departure alert which is a fantastic feature essentially this vehicle is going to let you know when the car ahead of you is left whether it be at a drive through or in stop and go traffic it'll give you a little chime to let you know to get your eyes back on the road mm -hmm. <laughs> they probably will be on the road anyway but just to make sure um, under driving safety we have forward collision avoidance safety so you can quickly turn this off there you go we'll turn it back on you can also change how reactive it is so if you think it's a bit too sensitive for you you can set it to late or bring it back to normal under lane safety you can quickly turn it on or off so this vehicle is going to have your lane departure warning and assist so that means once you're driving on a clear road so your lanes are clearly visible not covered in snow or mud or anything this car will alert you if you're about to depart from your lane and it will gently correct you Blind spot safety, so I explained that a bit while we were outside. That's, of course, to let you know if there's somebody in your blind spot. And then safe exit. So this is going to use your blind spot safety feature to let you know not to exit your vehicle. So this works really well if you are parked, um, like parallel parked on a busy street, and you go to open your door, but there's a car coming up from behind you. This is going to let you know, don't get out. <laughs> it's not safe, and it's a great, great feature. That's something you don't really think of until you're in that situation. And if you are driving this vehicle in the city, it'll change your life. So truly, it's a great, great feature. Now I'll have Mike join me in the passenger side, and we will talk some more. <laughs> <laughs> I already touched base on our beautiful key and how it's push to start with remote start on it and your lock and unlock controls. Now we'll talk about our screen over here. And this vehicle actually has a feature that we don't even get on the Kia EV6 GT. We don't get on the Hyundai Palisade Ultimate Calligraphy. We don't get it on our top trim levels and our top models. And that is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So depending on if you have an Android phone or an Apple phone, It'll both be wireless, which means you don't have to have your phone cable with you. And it's going to project all that information from your phone onto your screen here. So your maps, your music, your contacts, your text messages, um, even your calendar. So if you use Apple Calendar or Google Calendar, it'll all be there. Even um, WhatsApp messages as well, too. Very nice. Oh, really? Um, you can also take Zoom calls as well through the car. It won't be video Zoom calls. Oh, I was going to say. Yeah, it'll be audio. So if you are someone who's frequently doing meetings and you're frequently on the go, you can still have all of that without casting through Bluetooth instead on your phone, um, where it's running through the Bluetooth speaker system in your car. So it's much smoother. I have a, I have a quick question. Okay. <laughs> when you press that favorite button, okay. right? I saw a privacy mode option come up. Is yeah. that like, it's like quiet do not mode? Disturb, yeah. Oh, cool. Like do not disturb on your phone. So it's not gonna take in new calls. But is it gonna pop up that something's coming through on the screen? Good question. We should figure that we'll out. We'll do that on a test drive. <laughs> <Yeah>. Perfect. <laughs> Um, let's see. So that's how, where you're going to go to turn on your, either your Bluetooth, not your Bluetooth, oh my gosh, your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You of course have regular Bluetooth as well too. So that's going to take in phone calls and even let you respond to text messages. You can set a bunch of different Bluetooth, Bluetooth connections. If you get a new phone, you can easily delete your old one, um, and even change the priority. So if you have multiple people that have their phone connected all in the car at once, you can set one person to actually go through the Bluetooth system. Just below that, we have actual buttons for your volume controls, quick buttons for radio, media, and even another favorite button, which you can make it take you to your Bluetooth settings, your phone settings, whatever you want it to be. It's another blank button. And then we also have a two knob on the right. Hazards are just below. And then we have our AC controls. So super easy. Of course, you have your temperature here, blue for cold and red for hot. Can I turn the heat? No, I'm joking, no, guys. It back. is so hot. <laughs> it is literally so hot. We're dying over here. Um, AC button and then your fan speed as well as recirculated air if you press this down. Over here, we have our rear window defrost, which is also going to work with your rear view or rear side mirrors. Side mirrors. Oh, my gosh. Um, to turn on their defrosters. And then we have our fan direction and controls here. So your front defrost, defrost and feet, feet, face and feet, or just face. I love using the very technical terms for these. We're, <laughs> for we're smarter with the mics, I think. Do you want face cool or foot cool? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I'm going to picture my car saying that to me every time I touch it. Yeah. 
We have a USB here that you can use for um, your software updates as well as just any sort of device that actually needs connectivity, so not just to charge. Um, think a USB with music, for example, or an iPod with music, or just anything you want to transmit data through. In the center, you have a 12 volt, and on the very right, Look at this. We're in 2023 now and the cars show, okay? None of this old software or old technology. That is a USB-C yes. at a Hyundai venue. Oh, so if you're unsure what a USB-C is, well. It's the future. <laughs> yes, it's, it's the future. <laughs> so I will never use a USB to charge my phone anymore. I mean, I do have to use it for Apple CarPlay in my car. Mm -hmm. but, um, this charges your phone so much faster, faster and more modern phones are coming with this standard. So if you pick up a new phone from Apple, it's going to come with the USB-C charger. Um, even your MacBooks or just smaller computers, they usually have a USB-C to plug it in to charge it rather than the old, not an aux jack, but it was like a thicker one. I don't know the name of it, guys, but this is, will change your life. Sure. <laughs> All right. Jack. This is a very official channel. Yeah, <laughs> Very, jack. very official. No, we're straight up with you guys always. So... Let's continue on being straight up. <laughs> Over here, we have our gear stock. So pretty straight up, park, reverse, neutral, drive. Now, when you do have it into drive, you can tip it over to the left and manually select your gears if you'd like. Manual, as manual as an automatic can be, I should say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, over here, we have our heated seats and our heated steering wheel. So you can see, it'll illuminate with an amber light to show you the intensity. And, and a preferred. Yeah, and a preferred, exactly. Like heated steering wheel all the way around and heated seats. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, I'll show you guys this. So this is our drive and traction mode. It'll light up to show you what mode you've selected. And then in drive, you'll just toggle it either left or right, and you'll see it goes through these cycles here. So we have eco mode to start off with, which is going to dull the throttle a bit. It's going to shift gears a little bit quicker just to be as efficient as possible. And then we have normal mode, which is just a nice in-between. And then we have sport mode, which will hold the gear a bit longer. Your steering will be a bit stiffer. Your throttle will be a bit more sensitive. And no, this feature is not a gimmick. Some people say, ah, I don't notice a difference. Seriously? <laughs> Maybe between eco and normal, it won't be that much of a difference, but sport mode will really yeah. change the way the vehicle performs. Absolutely. I know this isn't a high performance or vehicle. It's not a racetrack vehicle, but um, a sport mode will definitely make a difference, especially if you are passing somebody on the highway and you need a little bit more confidence to pass. This is definitely the way to go. Now, if I were to press this down and go into traction, here's our options. So we have snow, mud, and sand. There we go. And this is going to change the way your electronic stability control performs. No all-wheel drive in this vehicle, but it will give you optimal traction in those conditions. And it truly does make a difference. So I definitely recommend this vehicle for a first car. Someone who is driving in Canada needs a little bit more space, um, has a budget. This checks off all the boxes for a lot of people for sure. Um, I will quickly show the cup holders and just some of the more general stuff. So pretty standard size cup holders, a real electronic, not a real electronic, a real parking brake, non-electronic one. And then we do have a center console. Yeah, and just to reiterate, I think a couple of people jumped on while we were in the car. This is a 2023, 2023 Hyundai Venue preferred. preferred. Yes, yes. Um, again, before we hop in the back seats, I'll have Mike show off the shelf. This shelf is amazing. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. But yes. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> no, I like, and one thing I notice is it's got a lip here, so nothing's going to slip out when yeah. you get the, you know, whatever it is. Whatever you decide it's, to yeah. keep in there. And then, uh, of course, you know, we got a nice glove box to fit mm -hmm. your nice fancy gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my well, AKA I mean, receipt You're not going to need gloves in this car. No. It's steering wheel. Exactly. Oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, you know what? Uh, for Hyundai Venue, being price conscious and everything. I mean, it's got features that make it fun to drive. Definitely. Like you've got the different drive modes. You got terrain mode, got a handbrake, you know, heated and cool, uh, heated, sorry, not cooled, heated steering wheel, heated seats. Like, so yeah, it's got a lot of good options for, you know, around a 20 grand price point. And guys, this, this is probably going to be one of the biggest selling features. Yeah. I mean, maybe, <laughs> depending on if you have passengers frequently. There is a lot of space back here for a compact crossover. Um, so headroom wise, this vehicle is a bit more boxy, so it does really put an emphasis on headroom. Um, legroom, I have my seat almost all the way back and you can see I still have, what, two, almost three inches of space between mm -hmm. my knee and here. I have space under the seat for my feet. It's actually quite a lot of height there. So if you do have bigger feet, there'll be room for 
you to park them somewhere. And then seat wise, I mean, the two main seats are quite wide. Um, the center seat definitely is a bit more narrow, but I will say if you have one of your smaller passengers sitting here, it's not that uncomfortable, especially because the floor board isn't that high. So the hump in the center on our all wheel drive vehicles is usually pretty hard high up. So unless you have a lot of width around you, you're pretty cramped up like this if you're sitting in the center seat. So this seat is definitely, uh, it's a good design for sure. <laughs> Mike, do you wanna hop in? Sure. I'll take the camera. So this would be the equivalent of me sitting behind me. Because I, I adjusted the seat. So this would be, I mean, a guy in the front, 5'10". Five, five, I'll yeah. confidently say that. <laughs> five ten, and still, you know, I've got enough room that, like, even if let's say the car jerks, you know, the way the seat is designed, it's a, you can't really slip out of it. That, yeah, you know that angle, but yeah, no, uh, the headroom is impressive. Yeah, it's uh, higher than some of our SUVs for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The headroom is definitely impressive. Let me close this. Oh, we're down right now. All right, but... I'm gonna talk about the seats for the driver because I noticed I didn't when I hopped in. So this trim does have manual seats. You can adjust the height and then of course how close it is to the wheel. So for the height, you're just gonna either pump it up or down. So up of course to lift it and then down to drop it. And then for your backrest, you have this lever here, which is going to either recline or bring up your backrest. I will say our cloth seats always heat up much faster than leather seats. So in the winter, when you're freezing cold and you hop in your car, you'll warm up really quick. Or you just use a remote starter. Yeah, or you can use a remote starter, exactly. Warm. Okay. That's that's honestly clutch for, for Canada. Like, good job there. Oh, right? absolutely. Like, kind of good job there, guys, because having that, you know, ha having that heated steering wheel, it's, it's like the worst thing in the winter. <laughs> Even with gloves on and you grab that wheel, it's frozen, right? Yeah. I'm trying to get a little closer so you guys will hear us. I heard someone say they can barely hear me. I'm so sorry, guys. I could be, like, outside. You're yeah. going to hear me, right? Mike's loud. Yeah, it's a problem. Um, <laughs> Gonna scroll up a bit to see what questions we may have missed. So yes, of course, the glove box is a little smaller than some of the ones I've shown you, like in the Santa Fe, the anything else. Uh, just reflecting, right? Uh, reflecting of the car size. That was a huge fly that just flew by as well. Um, let's see. The wheel looks fantastic. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> uh... But not our favorite wheel. Our favorite wheel, obviously, is the Tucson Santa Cruz wheel. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All female drivers call these spunky compact cars cute. So I think the car's cute. I don't think this <laughs> is a cute car. I think the Kia Soul is definitely more of a cute car. And I think it's largely due to when they advertised it with the hamsters. Oh, so okay. even though I work for Kia, when I see a Soul, one of the first things I think of is, aw, the hamsters. Mm. Um, but they're honestly really great cars. The Venue definitely looks a bit more grown up. I think it's cute because of the size. Honestly, for me, I'm oh. biased. I love the color. Yeah. Right? The color to uh, me actually, is, sorry. my face is cut off. The color to me is, I, I like I said, I, one of my first cars, actually one of my first cars I got when me and my wife, when we were dating, bought it together was exactly this blue. So it has a little place in my heart, this color. <laughs> um, a lot of people... Are saying I'm loud, still too loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, MG said the car color is on point. Yes, yes. I love this yes. color. It is, it's not too bright to the point where it's like, whoa, that hurts my eyes, but it's not boring at all. Um, wait, is this got a spare tire? Yes, so yes. we already showed the spare. You'll probably have to go to around maybe the eight minute mark mm -hmm. when we're around the rear of the vehicle, but we did show the spare. Um, the venue is no hamster car. I guess it's more of a gerbil or a chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could definitely fit a larger rodent in this car. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe Capybara, the world's largest rodent. Ew. They're oh. cute. No, they're really cute. The rodents. Does it have a long they, tail? They, they don't look like rats, no. Does it have a long it tail? It looks like a beaver. Like without a tail. They, okay, they no have, tail. Okay, yeah, good. Because no for tail. me, that's the thing with rodents, right? Like, it's yeah. funny how the tail makes a difference. Short yeah, tail, yeah. cute. Long tail, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a couple friends that have pet rats, and I I think they're cute, but I just, I can't. This tail Did is you ever too touch much. them? I'm out of here, yeah. no, I'm joking. I'm gonna check some info on the side of the car <laughs> that I saw people asking questions for. Um, Evo asked, hey Gabby, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Can you hear me? <laughs> 
Um, I'm gonna look for actual questions about the car. It's honestly a very straight up car, so I don't expect too, too many questions, but <laughs> um, Christian wants us to get a pet capybara for the channel and I'm all for it. I don't know how legal that is, but I am all for it. Um, Mike, what's the MSRP? 20, uh, you guys can hear me, come on, it's yeah. Mike. 22,700. 22,700, if you guys couldn't hear him. Warranty is comprehensive powertrain, emission, and roadside five-year warranty. Five years. So here in Canada, your warranty is five years, 100,000 kilometers for both powertrain and comprehensive, but you get five years, unlimited amount of kilometers for roadside assistance. So whether it's a flat tire or just any sort of mechanical breakdown, no, doesn't matter where you are in North America, so also in the States, a lot of our customers do drive to the States, so this is great peace of mind for them. You are covered, which is fantastic. Um, let's see. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Oh. Getting some weird questions. Uh, any incoming unsold 2023 venue ultimates to your Hyundai dealership? We are, so we are, we do have venues coming in. So that's okay. a good news. Do we have any right now that I can tell you are on the lot? No, but uh, they're coming over the next uh, several weeks. Yeah. So yes, we will have one. So if you definitely want to contact us, if you're someone that is looking in the area to obviously and you're interested, uh, reach out to our dealership and uh, some of these aren't even spoken for. So if there's an ultimate there and you actually are interested in it, maybe you want to test drive it, reach out. You know, we'll put it, we'll put it aside for you to test drive. <laughs> Christian asked a fabulous question. Um, what determines if you're standing or crouching in the live thumbnail? And I always say, usually if it's a shorter car, mm -hmm. we'll crouch. If it's a taller car, we'll stand. Usually we'll try, we'll take us se several photos, yeah. right? Like standing or, Gabby will be crouching and we're doing this. You or, guys should see or... like the outtakes. So today, for example, I was sitting in front of the the I venue with my sure. with my hair like this, looking down. Oh yeah, we did a <laughs> like the, the grudge. Ring. Yeah, the grudge. We did a grudge shot. I should have. Yeah, that one out. I don't think we're gonna use that one, but. I know, like crouch because you have to be close to it. And yeah. You're shorter than me, so I'm just gonna pretend I'm not short. Um. <laughs> Five-year rodent oh, assistance. The channel Capybara comes to help you. That would be awesome. Five-year rodent assistance. Oh my god. Oh, guys, guys, I have to sleep tonight, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, Streak9 asks, do you think child seats would fit in the back seat yes, easily? Yes, 100%. I know by experience. I've put, uh, I mean, even not even booster seats. I've put full child seats in the back of this too as well. Um, the stage two kind of seats when your kids are a little bit older up until nine and obviously booster seats. The booster seats are, it's, it's interesting too because of the height, the unique height in this venue. Uh, booster seats really bring you up and if you have, my son is tall mm -hmm. and I've had him there and, and you don't feel it. Uh, in the San, listen, the Santa Cruz with the booster seat, my son is kind of, you know, you could kind of see that, okay, one more, two more years and he might be taller, but the good thing is he's out of that seat, right? Yeah. That time. Um, let's see. I think that's probably about it for questions on today's live. We definitely did extend a bit further than usual. Also yes. considering we had to go live twice. Um, if you, this is your first time watching our videos. It's not usually this bad sound wise. I We're promise. We're both crouching. We should yeah. have just put the camera on. We're both whispering into the mic. It's usually not this bad. Oh. Um, <laughs> so tomorrow we will be live again at 2 p.m. with microphones. Working. Maybe working i don't know we might say our microphones work and then tomorrow our camera doesn't work yeah or we get an old school big microphone and we just <laughs> yeah. go back to the 90s yeah so uh, it's pretty good <laughs> yeah i'm gonna end the note with that comment gabby is a rock star so thank, thank you, you. <laughs> we all just want to be big rock stars live on hilltop houses yes driving 15 well, okay goodbye <laughs>